I'm thinking here, Mark, Mark Caruso is a, one of our staff people who helps to run this whole place. Um, the last show in here that we would have had before this group, country guy, what's his name? Trace Adkins. So the last, last time I was in this building a couple weeks back was to hear Trace Adkins up on this stage. And it's, it's every time I come in this building, I'm reminded of the remarkable performances I've had a chance to witness here in this same hall. So welcome to Center College. Welcome to the Norton Center, Newland Hall. Um, almost everything here has got a story, and, and sometime, if, particularly if you come to Center College, you'll hear the story about Jane Norton and how we ended up with this remarkable building here in the smack dab in the middle of central Kentucky. At the time, at a college that had about 700 students, they built this building for it. And um, now we have about 1,500 students, so we're a very different place. Uh, and excited to have you be a part of the day. I um, Part of what I'm going to do next is a little bit of a sales pitch, but, but not too much. Um, mostly, I want to tell you that I'm honored to welcome you officially to Center College. Some of you have been here before for other things. That's great. Some of you will be back for other things. That, too, is great. We're proud to have you among us, and I hope that your time here, however brief, will be one that encourages you and challenges you and inspires you. I want to say a special shout out to the teachers and the parents who are along on this day. Uh, you guys are doing the heavy lifting, and I appreciate it. Um, the success that we've had at Center College is that we have become one of the premier undergraduate colleges in America, not just in Kentucky, but in these United States, is largely dependent on the preparation that students have before they get here in their homes and in their schools before they ever arrive on day one here at Center College. And we're, we're delighted to have you teachers and parents among us as well. You know, Center College, uh, you should know, is all about preparing young men and women to be citizen leaders on a global scale. If you've never heard that combination of words together, it's one thing I hope you'll take back. You should aspire to be a citizen leader. Now, that doesn't define the job you have or the career that you might have, or in your case, careers that you might have over the course of your lifetime. Uh, but be, be sure uh, that you understand you're being prepared, or at least what we do here, is to prepare you to be a citizen leader on a global scale. Um, and it's my hope that each of you will catch a glimpse of what happens here at Center and what might happen for you if you make your way to Center College when the time is right. That said, let me say a word now about dreams and hope. This will be short. Somebody want to put, uh, put a watch on it, probably in the 90, 100 second range. I believe tomorrow's citizen leaders must be women and men who dream big dreams. It is my deepest conviction that our nation must sustain and, in fact, grow its capacity to encourage men and women who are prepared to dream big dreams. You will encounter cynicism. Do not let it steal away from your commitment from being your best. You will encounter people who are willing to accept less than their best. Don't let them discourage you from doing your best or from dreaming your best. The progress of our towns and cities, our states and our nations depends on women and men with the vision and the courage to make dreams come true. My dreams conclude the belief that the most remarkable inventions of all time will be patented, patented in the next hundred years. That plans and ideas for the best buildings, cars, airplanes, and medical cures are tucked neatly away in the recesses of the young minds not yet out of high school. That would be you guys. I believe that the most wonderful music is yet to be composed, that the best doctors and lawyers and athletes and musicians and scientists and teachers and leaders of our local, state, and national governments are just now moving into adulthood. Those are part of my dream. And what of hope? The root of my hope grows largely from two basic commitments, a matter of personal faith and two, my own abiding and unabashed optimism that we, that you, are up to the task of making this world a better place. Men and women who live with hope, often manifested in their commitment to faith, have moved this nation and the world forward in remarkable ways over the centuries. There's every reason to believe your generation and those that follow can and will continue this legacy of high achievement. 
Most of the bad news and conclusions about today's young people, those of you under 20, are exaggerated. It makes for good magazine and newspaper and TV journalism pieces, but it is grossly overstated. It is an idea that sells America's young people short and suggests to me that many of us, those of us over 40, have forgotten about our own adolescence and our young adult years. I remain extraordinarily optimistic about you, tomorrow's citizen leaders, and I do not accept the forecast that our nation and other countries that value freedom are about to destruct. My experience at Center suggests something completely different. The students I have come to know and teach and had the privilege to, know, to watch them grow give me countless reasons to be wildly optimistic about the future, about your future. Bottom line, I count on you young people will be able to dream big dreams and live with hope. People of dreams and hope are the ones who give me reason to dream and hope. It's always been this way, you guys. Our future depends on it. And so my wife Susie and I are happy to have you among us this day. We hope that some of you will choose to be students at Center College, particularly those among you who are dedicated to becoming citizen leaders with big dreams you aspire to accomplish and with hope to pursue all that is good in the interest of all people. So welcome. 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 Thank <laughs> you.